Hi everybody, it's Honest John again. Now, one of the things that is very weird about the investigation into the Russians' actions during the 2016 election is the repeated mantra, no collusion. Most recently in regard to the guilty verdicts in Paul Manafort's cases. Now, both judges in those trials stated quite clearly that the issue of collusion was not before the court and that they were not deciding one way or the other whether or not collusion occurred. And yet both Donald Trump and Paul Manafort's lawyers insisted falsely that the judge had in some way found that there was no collusion. This is a lie. Even though Robert Mueller has not issued his report, we know that there was plenty of collusion. Even the, the judge mentioned that Paul Manafort had lied about his interactions with a Russian intelligence agent named Konstantin Kalimnik. What Manafort was doing with Kalimnik was colluded. We know that. We know he gave Kalimnik data and reports from the Trump campaign. There can be no doubt that Manafort was colluding with Kalimnik and possibly other Russians as well. We know that several other of Trump's inner circle, including his son, Donald Jr., his son-in-law, Jared Kushner, Mike Flynn, Richard Gates, and others, were colluding with the Russians. So now that so we know that there was collusion between the Russians and the Trump campaign. So the no co collusion refrain is patently false. And the, all di and, the, and the idea that all that went on without n Trump knowing about it is simply ridiculous. So Trump and his people can say no collusion all they want. It doesn't matter. It's been established as a fact that it happened. And what Russia did in attacking the U.S. elections was an act of war. So any encouragement, advice, or assistance given by Trump or anybody associated with him is not just collusion, it's treason. What is interesting about all this is that a whole lot of people around Trump are either in jail or about to go to jail or at least have been found guilty or pled guilty to a number of crimes. And each time that a verdict comes down, Trump pretends that he has been cleared. But since Trump is not the one on trial, the idea that he has been cleared is absurd. The only way he could be cleared is if he went to trial. But the verdicts in those cases was guilty. Logic dictates that since so many people around Trump have been found guilty of crimes, it is likely that he is guilty of similar crimes. Trump insisting that a guilty verdict against one of his friends, relatives, or associates clears him is just plain silly. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos. But there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. So, if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use 
so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.